Ah, we got a good one. He picked it up. Yeah. Guys, we've got another monster. And I knew to mean a monster. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. My God, what is this? Oh, my God. Hey, guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning in for another one. It is Saturday. It's March the 30th, and it's time to get out and go fishing for some smallmouth, guys. That's exactly what I've done today here on the Gondot River. You're going to have to stay tuned to see the quality fish that I caught today. I may not have caught the numbers, but this is a day I'll never forget. It was actually the first time me throwing the jackhammer chatterbait by Z-Man, and man, did it pay off. Wait till you see the first two fish that I caught right off the bat throwing that thing, man. I'll definitely be throwing more of the jackhammer, that I can tell you, but again, it's a green pumpkin shed, 3 8 ounce. It does have a green pumpkin blade on it, so uh, it worked today. Let's just say that it caught my biggest fish. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's starting to get a little windy. I'm kind of wrapping up my trip here. This is a pre-front system moving through there so they're expecting quite a bit of rain here later that's another reason i came out here earlier but again it's march the 30th and if you guys are considering fishing for some smallmouth there is no better time than right now heading into april but anyways guys let's hop right into the video i appreciate everyone's support though to those of you who have been watching and subscribing to the channel it has definitely grown here recently so again thank you very much i don't take any of this for granted I'm thankful and blessed to get out here and do this, guys, and it's just it's just a passion I have. So again, thanks for the support. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Oh God, we got a good one. He picked it up. He picked it up, man. Our first one, we can get him in here. Yeah. I will take it on the jackhammer, man. Let's to check, see what this one is, guys. Let's see what this one is. All right, he's right at 16. put his tail straight 16 inches guys all right guys one last look at this fish nice healthy 16 incher to start today thank you mr smallmouth let's let you go buddy all right man it's our first one all right guys let's go ahead and make our next cast here we finally scored we are on the board, our first fish of the day. Came on the jackhammer chatterbait by Z-Man. Guys, I'm throwing a 3 8 ounce green pumpkin shad with a Yamamoto Zacco trailer. Let me show you what I'm using here. Kind of matches up nicely. That is a green pumpkin, copper flake, Zacco trailer on there with that green pumpkin shad jackhammer. First time I've used it today, that's our first fish. And it was a nice one, 16 inches. And uh, I hope we catch some more like that today, guys. That was our first one. Hopefully we can find a few more here today. That was definitely a nice way to start the day here, guys. I just thought I would uh, try this new jackhammer out. It didn't take very long to hook into one. I'm hoping that's a sign of good things to come here today. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. Actually, it's supposed to rain later, so that's another reason why I'm out here earlier. Trying to catch that morning bite. And so far, we've got bit once there. 
and hopefully there's a lot more of that here today. I'm on the Gondot River. That's where I'm going to be for the next few hours in search of some more smallmouth. Let's hopefully we can find a few. Looks like I'm in some pretty good water right here. It's supposed to be in the 70s today. Right now it's probably in the mid 40s, probably creeping up on about 50 degrees. So hopefully as things warm up, hopefully so does the bite. God, they like a chatterbait. Oh. oh, man. Oh, God, we got a monster. Jesus. Oh, my God. Let's go measure his fish and get a weight on it. My God. It's a nice one, guys. It may not be my PB, but it's a, it's a damn good smallmouth. Get him off the hook here. Oh my God, first look at him. Jesus, what a fish. Oh man, let's get a, let's get a length on this. Jesus Christ, he is. Let's see if we can get a, let's see if we can get a weight on this fish, man. All right, guys, four pounds, four pounds even. I'm not sure what that length was. He might've been 19, 20 inches, but my God, look what a fish here, four pounds. I'll get the fish on length on him here in a second, but let's let him go back. Buddy, thanks for biting. He says, I'm out of here. What a fish. Are you kidding me? Guys, I haven't been in the water very long, maybe 15, 20 minutes throwing that jackhammer chatterbait by Z-Man. We've caught two fish, but that second fish, guys, was a 20 inch, four pound, another trophy smallmouth. I can't believe it for no longer I've been in the water and that first fish was not bad. Coming in at 16 inches, didn't weigh it, but you could see it was probably a couple pound fish. But I appreciate you guys tuning in for another, and we're back on the Gondot River. I am going to keep throwing that chatterbait. It's the first time I've ever used the jackhammer chatterbait. I thought I'd give it a try, and man, has it paid off. But anyways, guys, let's get over back in the water there where I was, and let's keep throwing that chatterbait. Let's see if we can catch another one. Guys, let's get back over here. You can kind of see there's a little ridge here, little rock bar right here in the water leading over into this big deep hole of water or deeper hole of water with some current coming in you can kind of see it here guys i figured they'd be some smallies in here and right here is where we've caught both our fish so let's make some more casts in here and see if there's another one wanting to play man was that a fish or what i can't believe it i cannot believe it another 20 inch smallmouth. He just felt like a ton of bricks, man, on the other end of the line when he hit this. It almost made me think I was hung up until he started fighting back, but what a fish. We'll throw it a few more times in here, and uh, guys, if we don't get bit, we'll just move up and find us another hole, and we're gonna cover some water today, and hopefully we can run into a few more like that. Guys, we are at another location here. Let's let's try this area here. We still got the chatterbait on. I know there's fish in here. If we don't do any good on this 
chatterbait we may try something else i wanted to try to throw a few things around today and see what happens but i wanted to start with this chatterbait and man so far i'm impressed with it guys we got one yes sir this is a good one this is another good one whatever it is oh my god i don't know if he's big as that last one but this is a good one yes all right let's put him on the board he is not no monster but he is a about 14 and a quarter chunky fish guys 14 and a quarter inch smally all right beautiful fish right here guys let's let him go tell he's been eating too we'll see you buddy all right Guys, let's look at what we caught that fish on. First time ever on a lipless crankbait. That is the Cherry Crawl one quarter ounce rattle trap. You can kind of see the color there. I've heard it's really good for smallmouth. And apparently it is. That caught our third fish on a different bait. And one thing I can tell you already about these lipless crankbaits, or at least with this quarter ounce rattle trap, you can cast it a mile probably further than anything I've got in my tackle box. Uh, so you can cover a lot of water with it. Don't know quite how to reel this sucker in. I'm just uh, kind of throwing it out there, covering some water. This crankbait does sink, so I'll give it some twitches, kind of mix my cadence up, pause it, and uh, it's kind of how I'm working it. I don't know if that's the proper way. But anyway, that's how I'm using it. That's how I'm doing it if we don't get tangled up here. But uh, yeah, you can pause this bait. You can uh, twitch this bait. And I guess you could probably just reel it straight in, just kind of slow roll it. But uh, that's my first ever on a lipless crankbait. I mean, you can cast that a mile. Seems like it's definitely got some good hooks on it. That fish actually felt a lot bigger than he was. He put up a pretty good fight for a 14 inch fish. I thought it was bigger than that, but uh, I'll take it. guys here's another probably our littlest one of the day we'll put him on the board see what he is but nonetheless number four all right guys that's about a 13 maybe a little over 13 inch smiley here number four let's let him go but we landed another one on a different bait that was the kvd 1.0 orange belly crawl folks we are in a different area different spot like i said i'm gonna hop around here you can kind of see what it looks like where i'm at this is a beautiful section i thought i'd stop here before we find another place to fish but right now we're throwing the kvd orange belly crawl that's what that is. I think it's a 1.0 KVD crankbait. And uh, 
I haven't had it on five minutes. So I'm just switching it up. That makes four fish on three different lures. Let's see if we can keep it going, guys. Definitely a deep hole of water with some current coming into it. He hit kind of close in here. But uh, I just thought I'd switch it up and see what happens, guys. And we already landed one. Make it cast down this way. Got a lot of debris floating on the water. The wind has picked up. Probably going to snag that stick right there. Maybe not. But anyway, we've got some rain coming in later. That's why I'm out here earlier in the earlier part of the day. Trying to catch a few. So far it's not been too bad, guys. Four fish, one trophy. I'll tell you what, I'll take it to the house if we don't catch another one. But I am just trying to mix it up here today. And again, we've caught four fish on three different lures, so I'm pretty happy thus far, but we'll see what happens. For the next little bit, I may go back to the swim baits. I, it, I don't know. It's hard telling what I'll throw. We might put a Helgramite on. I've yet to throw that. But uh, again, just trying to mix it up. And so far, it's not been too bad. All right, guys, still hopping around the Guyandot River. We are in a different spot. I appreciate you guys sticking with me here. So far, we've landed four fish. And like I said earlier, if we don't catch another one, I've had a great day, including that 120 inch trophy. But uh, I'm just hopping around here trying to find a different spot. I'm actually in a spot where I lost a pretty good fish here a few weeks ago on the KVD crankbait. But uh, that's what I'm going to keep on for the moment. But I may, in fact, go back to some finesse baits, perhaps a swim bait or maybe even a Helgramite. I'm thinking awful hard about it, but. So far, we've caught them on the chatterbait, the lipless crankbait, and the KVD orange belly crawl crankbait. So uh, I'm going to keep it on there a little while longer. It's almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It's warming up. It's supposed to be in the lower 70s today. So again, that's why I'm out here pre-front. We do have uh, some rain expected later. So hopefully these fish will continue to bite. Hopefully we'll continue to catch them. I hope you guys are enjoying the video thus far. If so, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. And for those of you who have not subscribed, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel, especially if you guys are into smallmouth fishing. Again, I thank everyone for their support. Thank you to those who have watched and subscribed. This channel has had some growth here recently. So I want to give all the thanks to you guys who support this channel. But uh, I'm going to keep the KVD. I'm going to fish in the water as you see right behind me there is some current coming into this big deep hole and they should be some in here so stick with me guys let's see if we can land another one Dude, we got a hell of a smallmouth here. I do mean a hell of a one. This might be the biggest. I don't know. Yeah! Oh, man. There was another one. Gosh. Oh, my God. Guys, we got another monster here. All right. Two pounds. 12 ounces that's not a bad one let's put him on the board and see what he see how long he is that's not a bad fish man right there 16 and three quarters all right guys here is another nice smallmouth 16 and three quarters two pounds 12 ounces two and three quarter pounds on the kvd he's bleeding a little bit but i think he's going to be okay let's get him back in the water 
Another nice fish, number five, guys. One last look at this fish, man, before we put him back. I thought he was bigger than that, but that is no slouch. 16 and three quarter, two and three quarter pounds. We'll see you, buddy. Yeah. He's gonna take off here in a minute. Ain't you, Mr. Smallmouth? There he goes. He's under my feet here. Where you going, buddy? I don't know where he went, but he's gone. Well, that's all I was wanting, guys. Just one more good fish, and we got it right there. Man, when I hooked that fish, I thought that might be as big as that one I caught earlier, but it weighed two pounds, 12 ounces, two and three quarter pounds, 16 and three quarter inches. So that's the second biggest fish of the day. And I was just thinking they should be one here hanging out up here in this current. And there was, and we caught that on the KVD guys, the KVD orange belly crawl. I believe that's the 1.0 crawl. So uh, that makes the second fish we've caught on it. I'll probably throw it here for a little while longer, but uh, I don't know guys, I'm having some fun out here again. I hope you're enjoying the video. Uh, we do have some rain later from what I'm hearing. So maybe that's why they're biting so well today. That makes number five. Let's see if we can catch another one. I can tell the breeze is starting to pick up. That's probably that rain coming in. Hopefully it don't get too bad, but they were calling for up to 20, 25 mile an hour winds sometime today hopefully we'll be done before that happens oh god right at the bank man god it was one come right up here guys at least 16 inches another one my god had we missed that one i don't know if that come through on video or not but uh and i don't know if he felt the hooks or not but i'm gonna throw it back out i seen that fish that was another good small mouth all right guys we're probably going to finish up right in here and kind of see what kind of water i'm in got a little bit of current i wish i had a little more weight on this swim bait i'm using a 1 8 ounce that's all i got i wish i had 3 16 i'm definitely going to have to get me some in these conditions because the eighth is just not enough when you got current like this but I'm going to show you what I'm finishing up with. This is a Divine 3.2 inch Ghost Ice Minnow with a 1 8 ounce weighted hook. This is how we're going to use it. And this is what we're going to finish with right here, guys. We'll throw it a few times here, see if we get bit. If not, I guess I'm going to have to call it a day. I've got probably over an hour's drive home. I am getting a little bit tired, but I've had some fun today. This is definitely a day I will never forget catching another trophy fish. Almost had another one hooked back there, guys, on the KVD. It hit right at the banker. That would have been number six. Looked like another good fish. But we've had some pretty good luck today. Caught some big fish and I will take it. Well guys, we are gonna to have to wrap it up for today. I actually forgot to do my clothes there while I was on the river bank. Uh, I am stopped here at a local gas station because I am thirsting to death. I'm gonna to have to go in and get me something to drink. I didn't pack anything with me today. So you can imagine how thirsty I am. But I'll tell you what, I had a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I definitely had some fun making it out here. And again, it's one that I'm never gonna forget. Actually landing, you know, five solid fish, one being a trophy. Almost had the sixth one hooked there at the end. Looked like another good one on that KVD. But guys, I'll take it. We got a couple on the chatterbait, a couple on the KVD crankbait, and my first ever on a lipless crankbait. So if I can do it, so can you. I just encourage you guys, if you are chasing these smallies, there's no better time than right now through April. You have a really good shot of catching a big one and uh that trophy that 20 inch four pound smallmouth definitely made my day we caught a 16 and a 16 and three quarter 
Guys, I couldn't ask for a better day and I couldn't ask for a better group of people who are supporting this channel. It has, like I said earlier in the video, been growing a lot here recently. So again, thanks to each and every one of you who have watched the videos and subscribed. It really means a lot. But guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I am going to definitely have to go in and get me something to drink and I will catch you on the next one. But until then, thank you for watching.